Hello. I honestly have no idea what eyeshadow look I'm going to end up doing today, but I obviously have on a very springy shirt. I have some springy nails on. I just want to get into like the spring spirit. I am sorry. I don't think anybody even watches these videos to be completely honest, but I'm sorry I haven't really been on in a while. Um, obviously I was at school, I have finals and stuff, but I'm so excited for this summer because I'm just going to film all the time. Okay, so far, frown. <laughs> I am obsessed with this stuff, this rose water spray. So much better for you than the Mario Badescu. My friend, <laughs> my friend at school actually recommended this to me um, because she knows that I use the Mario Badescu one and there's just like a lot of ingredients in that. My focus, sorry. There's just like a lot of ingredients in the Mario Badescu one that are kind of like not necessary. Like you don't really need to be putting that many like chemicals and ingredients on your face. I think I'm going to mix together the Maybelline strobing type cream and then the Milani foundation. Like, whoa. It, it's, it's intense. I'm just going to take my Milani Perfect and Conceal. Conceal and Perfect. This foundation is really good. I haven't worn foundation in so long. This is weird. I forget what I look like. Oh my god, I'm so excited to do my makeup, guys. I literally used to wear makeup every single day and I just like stopped i don't know i just like i think because I, I had finals and i like didn't need to wear makeup to finals and like to class i was just like really stressed the last few weeks they had like five dollar spray tans at this place so me and my friends went and like i feel so much more confident with the spray tan i know that sounds sad but like it's the truth i think that's why i stopped wearing makeup because i felt so good without makeup being tan so now it's like fading away you can't really tell anymore oh i forgot to put this on okay we're just gonna put this in the high points <laughs> I wish people actually watched my video so I could be like put, doing like an Instagram poll right now and be like so what I should look should I do because I don't know and I don't think anyone cares besides me about my videos okay Catrice concealer this stuff's really good to set all of this nothing has changed i use the airspun thing is this brush clean <gasps> i don't think it's clean yeah i'm gonna set my under eyes with this and then i'm just gonna use the same brush and go in with this milani bronzer this I love this. It smells so good too. So I like these two. This one, I these two I use as eyeshadow. I don't really use these on the face, honestly. They're a little bit too dark for me. But let's see. I still use the same clear brow gel. Actually, that's not true. I used to use the CoverGirl one. Now I use the Maybelline. I love both. They're the same to me. I just, I guess I forgot about CoverGirl and I got this one. I always do this. This is just like necessary for me. It just like really keeps them in place. Okay, time for the fun part, the eyeshadow. Um, still have no idea, no idea what type of look I'm going to do. So that's exciting. I'm about to do it. Um, excuse me, I'm filming things. First color, I'm going to use the white one. It's perfect for like setting your entire eye. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this light pink shade. It's so pretty. I'm going to zoom you guys in now so you can see my eyes. Oh, that was, that was terrifying. Um, yeah, so going in with that pink peachy shade on, that pink shade on a Morphe M433 brush. Let's just put it in my socket. Let's. Okay, I look like I have pink eye. All right, let's just go in this eye. This shade right here in the palette is really pretty. I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna put it all over my lid, I think. That's what's gonna happen. Okay. 
This is such a pretty shade. Take a small brush, this one, and dip it into the black eyeshadow in the palette and just hug the top of my lid and like smoke it out a little bit like that, but like very little. I think I'm gonna do a wing because I feel like a wing will like draw this all together. I really like this. It has like a cool curve to it, sorry. And it makes doing a wing so easy. I've been doing wings like crazy at school and this is so easy. Did it in like a minute. These wings are so uneven, but it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. Did I just ruin this whole look? Probably. Okay, and then because there is absolutely no highlight shade like this, I'm gonna go into the Jaclyn Hill palette and use um, this one because there, there's no other light. Shade. But I love Jaclyn, so I love her product. Now let's do a very intense inner corner. Wait. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on a lot of eyeshadow. I mean, mascara. I'm gonna put on a lot of mascara. And then we will do the lips. All I can think about when I put on mascara is, oh, I'm gonna have to take that off later and it's gonna be clumpy and a gooey mess. Is that weird? Okay, I'm gonna just do like thick long lashes. Like, I'm not gonna put a lot of mascara on. Like, I'm not gonna keep dipping into the tube. I'm just gonna kind of make them separated and make sure that they're all covered. But I'm not going to go crazy and put on like gallons and gallons like I used to do. And then a little bit on the bottom. Okay, and then we're going to clean it up with a toothpick. I almost said toothpick. I barely had coffee today and I'm like freaking out. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so the last thing to do is our lips now. It's like a pretty NYX pink lip gloss. I think NYX makes one of like the best lip glosses ever. This might be it. This is the NYX lip gloss in Sweetheart. I don't really use this one that much, but it works perfectly for this look. Through all the makeup, you can still see my dark circles. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. How do you shut this off? I literally don't remember.